we're going to look at three different multiplication problems here and how they're solved. The first one is 4 times 6. Now what this means is that we have four groups of 6. So I'm going to draw four groups here. This will be group 1, 2, 3, and 4. And each group will have 6 in it. So in this case we'll just use circles. 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now you could see we have four groups, 1, 2, 3, 4, with 6 in each. And we want to know when we multiply how many circles there are total in all of these four groups. Well, if we count, we could see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 is the correct answer to 4 times 6. So the next problem is 5 times 3. If we use a similar, we could say, or a similar method, we could say 5 groups with 3 in each group. So here's 5 groups. We'll just draw dots this time with 3 in each group. They kind of look like faces. And if we count all of those, we could see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 5 times 3 is 15. Last problem we have is 8 times 7. Another way that we could represent this is 8 groups of 7 in an, what we call an array. So that means that I'm going to draw 7 stars across. There's seven, and I'm going to do this eight times. I'll have eight groups of seven. As you can see, I have eight rows now, six, seven, eight, and each row has seven stars. If I were to count all of those together, I would find out that eight times seven is a total of 56. That is how you represent multiplication in a nice, easy way to double-check your answers and solve multiplication problems.